Hi, welcome to Punxsutawney, home of Groundhog Day and Punxsutawney Phil. I'm John Griffiths. And I'm AJ Drew. And we're Punxsy Phil's handlers and we're gonna give you a little bit of information on Groundhog 101. All right, we're gonna tell you a little bit about groundhogs. Uh, Marmota monax is their scientific name and they're most closely related to the squirrel, believe it or not. They go by other names, whistle pig, woodchuck, and the whistle pig comes from the high pitched whistle that they make whenever they sense danger or they just get excited. We've had that happen just by us going in to feed them. In the wild, groundhogs live, you know, probably five to seven years. Uh, but Phil's special. Uh, Phil himself is 133 years old, uh, or at least we say. What makes him different, well besides that he's punks Tony Phil, is that he gets a magic elixir every year. We call it the elixir life. Uh, some people will call it groundhog punch. But basically with every sip of that elixir, he gets seven more years of longevity. Uh, this year I think he had three or five sips, so you know, you do the math. He's, he's, he's got a lot of years stacked up. Uh, he should be around for a real long time. Uh, groundhogs in the wild have a wide variety. They eat nuts, uh, all kinds of vegetation, and in the spring when they come out of hibernation, one of their favorite foods is dandelions. Yeah, groundhogs, uh, they do appreciate um, a, a, a diet of mixed greens, so a lot of kale. Basically, the, the heart, more hearty, uh, the more bitter the green, the more they like it. Sweet potatoes and yams are a big favorite. And then they do eat fruits, uh, surprisingly, obviously apples, that's something they'd get in the wild here in Pennsylvania. As you can see from Punxsutawney Phil here, he's got small ears, big teeth as he's chewing on my glove. There are four of them in total, two top, two bottom, very powerful jaws, sharp claws that uh, helps them in climbing trees and also digging their burrows out, and uh, two layers of fur, one fur underneath, the top fur that you can see, then the outer fur basically is to keep the weather off of them. Groundhogs, uh, they are hibernators. Uh, they're unique in that they actually hibernate very, very deeply. Uh, some animals that hibernate will get up throughout the winter. Groundhogs, when they, when they go down, they pretty much are sleeping. If you walked up or came upon a hibernating groundhog, if you're actually get, able to get down in their burrow, you may even think it was dead. Their body temperature goes way down, their heart rate goes way down, and uh, they, they just hibernate very, very soundly. Uh, that's probably from, you know, December-ish, maybe November, uh, depending on the, the seat, you know, the, the weather that year, uh, until around February 2nd, which is unique uh, in that it kind of coincides with Groundhog Day. Uh, but they actually get up, the males will get up around February-ish, depending on the weather once again, and they'll go out and search out a mate, uh, or their their mate, because they typically uh, they typically you know will mate with a with a female for life. Uh, they go into their burrows, which are construction miracles. They move about 700 pounds of dirt. They have different chambers down there for which they sleep and go to the restroom, and at least two and. Up, sometimes up to five different holes for them to be able to get out in case there's a predator in there. You'll notice uh, most of the time the inner circle are wearing tuxedos and uh, the reason that we wear the tuxedo and the top hat is because Phil, is, we're, as far as we're concerned, is the king of the animal kingdom and because of that he deserves respect. So that's why we wear, why we wear what we wear, the tuxedo and the top hat. That's to show respect for Phil, uh, who like we said is very special. Uh, he's the only groundhog in the world that predicts spring or winter. All right, on behalf of Punxsutawney Phil, AJ and myself, we'd like to thank you all for watching. And if you'd like to get a little more Punxsutawney Phil 101, come and see us on Groundhog Day, February 2nd.